What's going on traders? Welcome back to Griddle Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching today. Today we're going to take a look at a trade that we took on the micro ES the other day. Now the reason why we took this trade it was a textbook three point turn and a quick recap of our three point turn setup if you haven't seen any of our other videos is in this situation it was a bearish three point turn. So we look for one candle in this case a bullish candle to move up then in the middle we see a nice consolidation candle and then we see a nice large bear candle close down below now we did get short at the close of that candle and we rode that trade for about 10 points now if you would like more information on the three point turn figure out exactly when where and how to use this setup in your trading and this setup is valid on all sorts of markets stocks futures crypto forex and for all indexes so if you're trading the nasdaq the dow the russell 2000 or the es the mini or the micro it is valid for all those there will be a link right up above click that link and get access to all this information we go into extreme detail on how to use the three-point turn and there's lots of information in the course that isn't available on our youtube channel now let's take a look at how that trade turned out Order what's order going now. on traders got the video opened up here just a little late so I do apologize for that but let me walk you through what I'm looking at right after I set all my targets up so again I do apologize for getting that up late but we don't always know when we're gonna get a trade so let me move this to 10 points and then we're gonna move this down to 68 There we go. So let me tell you what I'm looking for and why I took this trade. We can see if we can center this up a little bit. Again, apologize for not getting that opened up sooner, um, but some things are out of my control. So reason why I took this trade, nice big sell off overnight, came up, found resistance around the New York open. What, what do we open up at? 3367 nice three point turn right here we have our one up our one consolidate and then our one down um, actually got filled a little bit better than what i was wanting to really looking to get a fill at 57 but that wasn't happening so i got to fill at 58 um do like that a lot better obviously that's a point better than what i was originally looking at and shooting for this this would be the low of yesterday and we can see price is down nice rejection off of our mean and I do think that we can continue moving down as we can see trade started out a little choppy ended up going against us what to about four or so points um, against us but that is kind of to be expected right now price is very choppy um, but I do think we can move down or at least get a little bit closer to this 3348 level. So again, shooting for 10 points with six contracts here on the MES. So far we are up about five or so points, give or take. Hopefully we can get a fill here in just a minute. We are about three minutes away, or not three minutes, three points away, excuse me. Um, about two points away hopefully we can get this fill here in just a second and then we can kind of recap as to exactly why we took this trade since I did unfortunately get this opened and started here um, a little bit later than I wanted to this is actually a pretty quick trade here at the moment um, it's kind of what I've been expecting momentum is down um, and obviously we're going to continue to take shorts until the trend changes and momentum changes. We are about one and a half points away. Half a point, we moved our stop down automatically to kind of protect Target us. Filled. And there we go, we got a fill. So let me walk you through why I took that trade since I did get this opened up a little late. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can see that price double top it's hard to get this all in the screen so please bear with me we can see price double top nice sell off into the New York session um, once the New York session did open up 
I honestly thought we were going to open up and then shoot straight down to the low of yesterday. Um, after I saw this right here, I didn't think I was going to get a get a fill. Honestly, I missed this um, setup right here. This is another great three-point turn setup. Um, granted, it wouldn't have worked out, but I honestly was going to take that, but I was distracted and didn't get a fill. Um, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. That is one of those times that I got lucky, but I would honestly take that trade all day long. It is our textbook three-point turn, one up, one consolidate, one down. Pretty much exactly what we entered in on this trade with. The only difference is with this setup is we had our one up, one consolidate, one down, nice big bearish candle down, but we found resistance at the New York Open at 3367. Once we did end up finding that resistance, we entered the trade, got a little bit better of a fill than I was honestly expecting, so that did help us out a little bit. And we can see we did have two bars of kind of consolidation whipping back and forth. Definitely a support level here right around this 3356 level. From there, we shot right down to this low. Um, this was one of our targets, and we got about 10 points. So could we have gotten more? Obviously, you can always possibly get more, but we don't know. I was shooting for this. It was a decent level, and it's something that I was thinking that other traders would be looking at as well. So if the momentum is down, if the trend is down, look at your trend line. Pretty much all the other time frames are down here at the moment, so I thought it would be a very safe trade to enter in, and it looks like I ended up being correct, thankfully. So if you do have any questions, any comments, or you want to know some more information, definitely comment down below. If you would like to use this kind of setup and these techniques in your trading, there is a ton of information on our price action course that details the three point turn setup. Believe me, it goes in much more detail than what we have on our YouTube channel. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you need any help, any comments, anything like that, feel free to reach out. And as always, I wish you nothing but the best when it comes to trading. Thank you and have a good one.